Okay, so this video is gonna have us review the answers for Tuesday's math assignments, which was focused on mathematical practices. And they're giving you real life examples of when you would use area and perimeter. And in this case, it's in gardening. And you guys all know that I love my garden and I have in fact been planning it um, while I've been homesick. So one of the things you have to do is to make sure that you know how much area you have within your garden to know how much dirt you need, how many seeds you'll need, um, and, all, and what different kinds of things you're gonna plant. So if we take a look at this, the perimeter for part A, a lot of students take this measurement here. They take this eight feet, and then they go six and six and three, and then they figure out this three. But that's incorrect because for A, you don't add this extra part here. So it's not eight feet, it's six feet. So the perimeter with this for this would be six plus six plus six plus six, which would give you 24 feet. Not 24 square feet, because that would indicate area. The perimeter for part B would be three, and we'd assume this is also three, and two, and two, which would give us 10 feet. The perimeter of the combined garden, so all the way around this entire shape, would be 28 feet. Okay, and the question asks, is he gonna need more fencing to enclose two separate parts of the garden or to enclose it combined? Well, he would need more fencing to enclose the two parts of a garden separately because then he'd also have to fence in this little area here that's touching. So he'd actually need an additional six feet of fencing. You don't wanna do that. You can just have them touch and then you obliterate that need for the six feet. The area of part A, again, a lot of students look at this eight feet, get confused and go, length times width, which would be eight times six. But that's not correct because this is not the length here of this side. This is actually six by six, which would give you 36 square feet. And the area for part B would be two by three. Two times three is six square feet. And the area for the combined garden, you would just need to add up those two numbers, which would give you 42 square feet. How does the total area change? If these two thing, different gardens were separated, it wouldn't change at all. It would still be the same. The only thing that would change would be the perimeter because then you have an extra side, okay? Then when you had to come over here and draw a different garden with the same perimeter and then a different garden with the same area, these are possible answers. But basically you were trying to make a shape that had a perimeter of 28 feet and a shape that had an area of 42 square feet. Okay, if you happen to pick what I did, what is the area of your garden that has the same perimeter? 40 square feet, okay, what would be this? 26, and then if you wanna plant different things, because most people plant different things within their garden, they don't have you know 17 rows of the same crop, they like something a little different, uh, this would help you draw how many square feet you would need for each of those. And these are possibilities, you could have done it a bit differently. Typically, we don't ask you to draw shapes like this. We're usually asking you to draw quadrilaterals, but that one's a little bit fun. And then if we take a look at the homework, sorry, for this particular lesson, all right, number one, his answer would be 38 cups, number two, 30 feet, and number three, the possible answer would be 24 square feet if you use the same drawing as I did. On the back side, solve. 669 people, 286 sheets of paper. Number three, you needed an equation. Definitely need to have those parentheses there to know what to do first, which would make this seven plates. Number four, if you saved your tangram pieces, cool. If you didn't, not to worry. And number five, all right, same kind of thing. We've got this sort of complicated garden here. She's got 30 feet of fence to go around, which indicates its perimeter. The, um, Will her layout work? No, if she did this layout, she'd need 40 feet. To make it work, she could put the two by seven feet section along the eight foot side and use only 30 feet of fence. We would never ask you a question like this on a math test. This is an extra challenge, but hopefully this helps and I'll see you guys in a bit.